A fatal truck crash in the Yarra Valley has prompted Vic Roads to reassess the speed limit along a dangerous section of the Melba Highway. Dougal Beatty says the semi slammed into two oncoming cars, killing a woman and injuring three other people at Dixon's Creek last night. Around 8.20 last night, the semi-trailer jackknifed, causing it to veer into the wrong lane, collecting the two vehicles in its path. This is a horrific scene. Uh, it's devastating. A woman in her 50s was killed, while two women in a following car and the truck driver were hospitalised. Two horses being towed in a float also died. Jim Noonan lives just metres away from the scene of the crash and is one of many residents calling for the speed limit to be dropped to 80. We live in there expectation that it will be an accident quite often. And the locals have good reason to be anxious. This notorious stretch of road has claimed the lives of 12 people. Last night's crash also taking the injured toll to 55 since the year 2000. Residents have reported seeing trucks travelling far too quickly down this section of the highway, sometimes tailgating other cars or veering into the oncoming lane. In winter, road conditions deteriorate. You can hardly see. I try and follow the, the white line that's on the side of the road because it's just too wet and dangerous. Vic Roads will now reassess the speed limit along the hilly highway. It is concerned that there have been a number along that section of road. And so I think it is important that we look at what other measures we may be able to take along that section of the road. Dougal Beatty, Nine News. One woman is dead and three other people have been injured after a truck jackknifed across the road in the Yarra Valley. The accident happened on a notorious stretch of the Melba Highway near Dixon's Creek at about 8.30 last night. Michael Bennett has the story. One of the injured women gets pulled from the tangled wreckage. If the 51-year-old female driver of this car wasn't so fortunate, killed when this truck veered onto the wrong side of Melba Highway in Dixon's Creek, crushing her van and another car. We've got a heavy vehicle that's been involved in this crash. They have uh, a great responsibility on the road. Two horses also perished while being towed home after competing in a top-level equestrian event in Albury at the weekend. One was fatally injured in the crash. Uh, the second one died not long after. The injured women were rushed to Royal Melbourne. And there was uh, people sort of frantically running everywhere all over the place trying to, uh, you know, obviously help out the occupants of the vehicles. The truck driver was treated for injuries at the Alfred. The truck was travelling north on its way back to Swan Hill when the accident occurred. It's also understood that roads in the area were wet last night. From 2000 to 2012 there have been 95 accidents on that section of the highway. 11 people have died, 52 have been seriously injured. 18 months ago four people were killed in an accident opposite the Dixon's Creek Cafe. Owner Christina Askew says locals want the speed limit it dropped from 100 to 80. So I don't know how many more people on there will be killed before the authorities do something. Vic Roads are looking into the issue and will make a decision on reducing the speed limit there in coming weeks. Michael Bennett, 10 News. Michael joins us now from the Royal Melbourne Hospital. Michael, do we know the condition of those who were injured? Mal, the two women who were injured in last night's crash remain here at the Royal Melbourne. A 21-year-old from Berwick who's in a serious con condition and the 29-year-old driver from Pakenham Upper who is stable, as we saw from the vision. They were lucky to, uh, to, to get away from the crash with what police described as non-life-threatening injuries. Their ute wiped out when the truck jackknifed and hit them head-on. Now, the driver of the truck, he is at the Alfred and remains in a stable condition. Police will talk to him in the coming days to try and figure out just what went wrong. Mel? Michael Bennett at the Royal Melbourne Hospital.